with Claudie Egnier, who is a former French minister, a former astronaut and the first French woman in space. Now we are making progress, there is still a long way to go, but Claudie, I would really love to know, if you were to impart one piece of advice or wisdom to someone who wanted to follow in your footsteps, what advice would that be? Really, I would say be bold and dare to tempt your dream or your desire, or your passion. And um, we frame ourselves in old rules. I think really we are in a new era. And being there, we feel this young generation pushing and trying to create something new. So don't be afraid to be different and be bold. Fantastic. And what, kind, um, what type of trends are you seeing in space technology at the moment that particularly excite you? I think we are entering also in a new journey. We have been for 30 years in a space station, the Mir station, internal space station, and we are planning to go forward, to push the moon, Mars mission, deep space. That means that we learn a lot, but we have still learned a lot on a scientific point of view, engineering point of view. So we need all the talents, the men and women, to enter in this new era. And that's really enthusiastic. As we had in the 20th century, this Apollo impact, yeah. I'm sure that we will provide to the young generation a new impact for the future with a deep space mission. Fantastic. And if you could go back to space, what would, what would you do? Ah, I would really appreciate to go on the moon because it was my childhood dream. But that's too late for me, but I'm preparing that for the, for the future of the young generation. So being there, trying to learn how to live in a multilateral cooperation. That means I'm really thinking in terms of humanity, humankind and not just as a French, European astronaut, American astronaut, Arabic astronaut, but trying to think the future all together because the stakes are so important that we need to pull all the resources and all the mindset together. A huge thank you to Cloudy there and for all of the latest news here at the Dubai Air Show and just generally on aviation, do head to wearefin.com.